What is up YouTube? My name is Iggs and today we're going to be going over how to enable RCS on your cell phone. So for those of you who don't know, RCS is basically the iMessage of Android. So it allows you to send high quality videos, high quality photos, high quality audio, as well as enable read receipts for text messages and other media sent back and forth. So RCS is not just another messaging app like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp where you need to create an account and add friends and whatnot in order to get this functionality. RCS is a service that's built directly into Google's Messages app. And this app is tied directly to your phone number. So any other person that has RCS enabled will be able to take advantage of these features directly through their phone numbers. So without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. I was ready to blow me down. Okay, so first things first, you need to opt into the most recent beta of the Android Messages app that is made by Google. So this app will replace the default texting app for your phone. However, it does provide a bunch of additional features such as RCS, as well as the ability to send text messages directly through your computer when you're close by your cell phone. So in order to opt into this beta, go ahead and click on the first link in the description down below, and that will pull up a page allowing you to opt in to the testing program or the beta program for the Android Messages app. So as you can see, I am already a tester, but right where it says you are a tester on my screen should be an option for you to opt in or join the beta. Now, once you join in, your screen should look exactly like mine. So now your next step is to go into the Play Store and update your Android Messages app. So if you don't have it installed already, you will have to search it in the search bar up here at the top. But if it was already installed on your device, go ahead and go into the top left corner where these three bars are and select My Apps and Games. Now from this screen, there should be an option to update all of your applications if you have more than one update pending. But what we're really looking for is updating this Messages app. As I said, if you don't have it installed already, it won't pop up in the screen. You'll have to search it from that previous search bar at the top. Now your next step is to make sure you have an application called Carrier Services installed. By default, Google phones such as Pixel phones should have it installed already, but if you don't have a Pixel phone or a Google phone, you will need to install it if you have a Samsung phone. So go ahead and click on the second link in the description to make sure you have this service installed and updated. After you've verified you have that installed and updated, you're gonna have to download this third application called Activity Launcher. This is the application that'll allow us to enable RCS. So go ahead, click on the third link in the description and download Activity Launcher. Now once Activity Launcher is installed, we're gonna have to go ahead and clear the storage for carrier services and force closed messages. So go ahead and navigate to carrier services within your app. If it doesn't show, you're probably going to have to click on some kind of option in the top right corner that enables you to show system applications. But nonetheless, look for carrier services, click it, and click clear storage. If you cannot find it and you're sure it's installed, use the search function within your settings app to search for carrier services. Now before we continue with this next part, we have to make sure messages is set to our default texting app as well as that it is completely set up. So if you have already been using messages, you can skip this step, but if not, please open the messages app and make sure you have it all set up before you continue on with the tutorial. So once we do that, we're gonna have to go into Activity Launcher, and upon startup, there should be a disclaimer saying, depending on what you change, it could mess up the functionality of your device. Just accept that disclaimer. And now we're gonna see some options on the screen. By default, it will show recent activities. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is click on the drop down in the top corner and select all activities. It should load for a quick moment, and it should show you all of your applications once it's done loading. So now we're gonna scroll all the way down to Messages, click Messages, and it should show you a bunch of different things that we can change around with the Messages app. So we're gonna scroll down till we see Set RCS Flags. So once you find that, go ahead and open that up. Once that's opened up, you're going to see the screen that you're seeing on my screen right now, and you're just going to want to change the ACS URL and the OTP pattern to the ones that I have shown on the screen right now. After you've changed that, go ahead and click on Apply. Now this has enabled the functionality of RCS on our device. The last thing we need to do is actually go ahead and activate it. So go ahead and click on the back arrow to exit out of this menu. And our last step is to go into our Messages app. So go ahead, go into Messages, and our screen should look like this if you had Messages set up correctly before you started on with this tutorial. So now click the three dots in the top right corner, click on settings. The first option in your settings menu should be chat features. So go ahead and click on that. And there should be a toggle to enable chat features. Chat is just what Google calls RCS. Go ahead and enable chat features and follow the setup process. And when chat's finished setting up, your status should change from trying to connected. And just like that, you've enabled RCS on your cell phone. 
So RCS will only work with other devices that have RCS enabled. So as of now, Google is rolling RCS out slowly to devices in specific areas. So this tutorial is just a way to get RCS quicker. So if you'd like to get RCS with a specific group of contacts before it's officially rolled out to everybody, go ahead and share this video with them. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.